Today, I'd like to talk to you about the transnasal implant. Uh, in my point of view, the best indication for use of transnasal is a very extreme case of atrophic maxilla when you want to avoid the double zygoma because there is a lack of uh, height of the zygoma or even the zygomatic region is very thin. In this case, uh, we've planned to put two transnasal implants, that's what we've done what you did and put plus two zygomatic implant and you can see here the zygomatic implant was properly placed in the body of the zygoma part of the the maximum bone availability keep in mind when you put two zygomas you have to split the zygoma in two parts the upper part and the lower part it's a big mistake when you put anterior implant like a conventional implant or transnasal and you put the zygoma right in the middle of the zygomatic bone. For sure, it is simple, simple and the, it's easier to put implant there. But you have to keep in mind that bad things could happen, like happen in this case, when you have a transnasal implant that we, we've lost, we, we lost this implant, and this patient has uh, sensibility when you touch it on it. And for that reason, we decided to remove this two transnasal and put two zygomatic implants in the anterior part of the zygoma. And that's our planning. You can see here we have room to put a second zygomatic implant. Uh, that was because the first procedure was very, very successful and put the zygomatic implant on the bottom part of the zygoma. This case was, was done by a, a American students that come to Brazil to, to learn these uh, kind of procedures. So what's the lesson here? First, you should keep in mind that is transnasal a good alternative to double zygoma or transnasal should be let as a second option when you put double zygoma and we lost one of the, those implants. So that's a, a good question. When you look into the literature, uh, we have tons of, uh, I'd not just, I not say just clinical study, but a review of clinical studies about the predictability of the double zygoma. Conversely, when it comes to transnasal, we only have a few uh, cases serious, and we don't have too much literature to cover uh, the long-term benefit of it. Keeping that in mind, we still are, are in the middle ground about uh, think about where would be the best indication for transnasal implants concerning the possibility to double zygoma. So keep in mind that transnasal is a good choice, but we have to keep in mind that it's not the best choice according to literature and you, use, you should use it with care. And right now we are uh, waiting for the literature to give more support to use it as a first choice okay it's a tool in our toolbox it's not the best tool but it's a, it's a tool you should learn it you should uh, master the technique but you should use it with care thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to contact us